What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick. It's a secret console that you can enable within Steam that lets you do all kinds of cool stuff. And I'll give an example of uh, something you could do in there, including downloading uh, specific depots and uh, game packages from Steam directly through the console. So this is a pretty cool one. Uh, huge shout out to Bud in the Discord. If you want to join the Discord server, jump into discord.mikethetech.com. Uh, he actually showed me this one and I thought it was a really cool trick. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So onto the video itself. What is this secret Steam menu? So uh, first off, let's open Steam. And you will notice that we have the standard uh, Steam setup here with your name and community and library and all that there, right? Uh, let's go ahead and close Steam completely. And what we're going to do is actually search for where the Steam uh, shortcut is located. So we're going to open file location right here instead of running it. And you'll see that we have a shortcut. Let's go ahead and right click on that shortcut and go to properties. Inside properties, we're just going to add a space dash console. And let's go ahead and hit apply. Let's hit continue. And OK. Now, if we double click on this, Steam now starts with a console. So if I click on this console, we can see that we can type something down here. So what kind of things can we use this for? Uh, well, one specific use case that I uh, recently used it for with Bud actually is downloading a different version of a game than the operating system we're on. So I wanted to download the Mac OS version of the game um, for a MacBook, but I had the I was on Steam on Windows, so obviously it's just going to let you install the Windows version. So how can we uh, download this? Very easily. All we're going to do is type in download. And you'll see that it starts recommending things that we can already do here. And we're going to choose Download Depot. Now, we do need to know the game ID. Uh, so to find that, for example, we can go to the Steam page. And you'll see that the game ID is 221680. Um, you can also go to SteamDB, which I recommend, um, and grab it there. It says App ID 221680. So we're going to copy that and paste that here as well. And then we need the uh, depot ID for what we actually want to download. So in this case, we want to download the Mac OS version. So we need 221682. So we'll copy that and paste it here. And then finally, we need the manifest ID. And that sounds really complicated and it's a longer number, but it's actually not. Just click on 221682 and you're going to copy this manifest ID right here. So copy that and paste it in and this will download the Mac version even though I'm clearly using Windows 11. Let's go ahead and press enter and see what that looks like. Yep, downloading depot 6500 or 6253 megabytes and we can see here that it looks like it is about 6.5 gigabytes and that will continue until it's downloaded into your Steam directory. Pretty cool. Uh, there's lots of other stuff you can do here as you saw when I started typing it give us all kinds of other options we can choose here. Don't play around too much with uh, some options because there are some destructive things you can do in here, including deleting achievements, things like that. It is a very powerful console, um, but there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do in here too. So yeah, let me know what you think of this one in the comment section below. Again, huge shout out to Bud for this one and uh, be sure to check out the Discord for lots of other cool uh, tips and tricks. Uh, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Peace. <laughs> About a new device, unboxing kudos. We rock that pseudo administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?